Bama had 44 days to get ready, and Nick Saban got his team ready to roll. And you know what? They have one penalty the whole game. I mean, that says a lot about the preparation, but that Wait, emotion... twice. Let's take another look at the highlights. Yeah, it was something yeah, yeah. to do here. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> As we were saying, here's Mays. This is unfortunate, Desmond. I mean, he, he, this is the only time anybody's ever taken a punt any distance against LSU all year. And he, he might have made wing miss, but he pulls up. I, know, I didn't know what was wrong with him when he pulled up, when he saw the punter like that. But then you saw him limp to the sideline. Tough way to go out of the national championship game, his last game, but a huge play for their offense, putting them in position for at least a field goal. And it was interesting, Nick Saban said, we pretty much did everything on offense and defense the way we did last time. That was really one of the only change-ups and differences they had from their first game he to this game. He was a guy that he wanted yeah. to get oh, redemption. Yeah. He made mistakes the first time. He was really distraught. The dump down here, McCarron hit as he throws. They're short, and in comes a familiar scene, a short field goal attempt, but this is what you want, a, a chip shot, not a 45-yarder. Well, but still, you wonder with what happened in the last game, how Shelley and the Alabama field goal situation, would they make that first one to maybe get their confidence? Logan gives them a little, who knows what he said yeah, there. Get his ear a little get bit. His ear. You made that hand. one. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Again, somebody had to step up with number four out of the game, and it was the sophomore. Little well, use all year. Yeah, he was, but how about, again, first and ten, play action, an amazing effort to go over the top Matthew. of Tyron Matthew. Now, they went after Matthew. They really felt that they could beat him, but these are with backup receivers. Norwood does a good job, first and ten, man-to-man, -man, just what they wanted against Tyron Matthew. Long field goal attempt. LSU was ready for the fake here. Chris Underwood, the tight end, will take the little shovel pass. Just barely makes it. They reviewed the spot, but it was a first down. Well, LSU was ready for it. Matthew got his hands on it. He's looking for it. You know, he, he gets enough of his arm on him to slow him down before Kiki Mingo can come over and make a play to try to keep him short. But it was interesting. The review looked like they might overturn that, but it ends up holding up for the first down. But they couldn't keep marching. It is a first down by an inch. Shelley comes on again, and just like the first game, big Michael Brockers gets a hand up and blocks it. Put his big paw up there and knocked it down. And maybe you thought maybe this could spark LSU. It's like they were waiting. All year, somebody's made a play in special teams or on defense to create some momentum. Maybe you thought this might be that moment. And Trent's you know, trying to get him fired exactly. up. Exactly. Trent's like, stay in the game. Yeah. We're going to need you. Don't go in a tank on us. Hey, but feed Richardson a lot, hammering straight ahead at the LSU defense. They didn't use him a lot when they got down inside the 30 for some reason, but between the 30s, he was tearing them up. Yeah, I hope somebody asked Nick Saban that. I, we were very curious about that during the game. Trent Richardson, much like the first game, a lot of success, and then they'd get deep in the LSU territory, and for whatever reason, he'd be back over there catching his breath. Yeah, so he's out. Eddie Lacy is a fine runner, but Matt Richardson comes in on third and one, and LSU you know, gets the tackle for loss again. Another field goal attempt upcoming. Just kept, it seems like every third down, somebody up front of the defensive line from LSU would make a play to force the field goal. Meanwhile, though, LSU's offense and Jordan Jefferson, New Orleans native, won a state championship in this building. Desmond, from the first snap, didn't look himself. No, he really didn't. And there were some unforced errors. You had some false starts. You had a fumble snap. It just seemed like they weren't comfortable. I don't know what was his deal tonight, but he couldn't get into a rhythm at all. On that snap, he's actually looking at the defense as the ball's in the air. That's a tough way to catch a snap from a shotgun. And there was another snap when his hand was right up on the center, and he still fumbled the snap. Yeah. Just before half, McCarron's got a marching again. Once again, Norwood for 20, and it's a first down. 14 seconds to go. McCarron to Darius Hanks, who fights through a Honey Badger tackle and moves the chains. I'm really impressed by this drive. For this Alabama offense, without Marquise Mays, to even get down in the field goal range that should take a shot here, getting the ball to start the second half and to be able to go up nine, gave him a ton of momentum going in at halftime. So the first half stats reminiscent of LSU's SEC championship game performance against Georgia when the offense could do nothing. But in that game, Matthew was able to make a special team spark with the punt return. Did you get the feeling LSU was going to adjust and, I, and get something going, Kirk? Well, just based on what we've seen from LSU all year, including in Atlanta in the SEC title game, you could see the frustration on Mays to start the second half. He wants to be out there so bad for his team. You thought LSU might be able to make a play, but right away, Alabama puts McCarron in a position to get aggressive. They went hurry up here, the throw to Hanks. Then he has a great block here on Honey Badger up at the top to be able to spring Kenny Bell down the sideline. And right away, 
potential for LSU's defense to create momentum is taken away from them, and Darius Hanks has a big part on both those first two plays. It's third and five of the 18 now. McCarron over the middle, just off the hands of Norwood. And so here we go, fourth down. One more time, Jeremy Shelley from 35, but again, a makeable range, very confident, 12-nothing. LSU still, if they could get a play, had a chance to get something going here, but Jefferson, the Odell Beckham, who was a weapon, because Ruben Randall did nothing tonight. Now Beckham found the window in a cover two, sat behind the corner and in front of the safety, and it was a good throw. You thought, again, maybe some momentum. First down, nope. number two of the game. <laughs> but you know what? The one guy you want to block is Courtney Upshaw. <laughs> Somebody's got to pick up a big fella. Possibly. You know, and I, I was surprised that they didn't roll Jefferson out more like they did A.J. McCarron, just to give him some clear throwing lanes. Mm -hmm. And get Jefferson's him away from the pressure. This is the next drive. What? Why? He throws it away. C.J. Mosley, who gets injured right here as Jefferson brings him down, but the pick. Well, he, the confusion there. Spencer Ware, watch the running back. He thinks he might check it down. He, then he thinks, oh, oh he's going to run. I'm going to pick up that linebacker and help him be able to pick up some yards. He thinks he's going to take off instead of being able to throw the football. But instead of running, there's miscommunication. He flips it, shovel pass, and there's Mosley to be able to make the big interception. Yeah. Again, great field position. He would leave the game. Alabama losing star players in the game, but continuing to grind on, continuing to move close and get in field goal range. What a shock. Here he comes. But this one whoop, 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 just slides to the And look at this. Right. This game could not be more one-sided, and yet it's a two-possession game. Yeah. All you need is one play to try to change the complexion of the football game. How about game? old Nick Gentry, the backup nose tackle, a little sawed-off guy plowing in there. He made some impact plays. He, he sure did. He's a grinder. Guy that's known for his leverage in his hands. Just relentless. He played well tonight. Then Ed Lacy comes in and just grinds out. You know, Kirk, I'm watching this game, and you just know LSU's defense, they're starting to get tired. You know, they start, you know at some point, they're going to break. Is yeah. this the touchdown? At the goal line, Eric Reed just knocks it out of the hands of Brennan Gibson. Now in the first matchup, Reed made a play near the goal line. Gibson was involved in that. He brought Reed actually over to take the ball away from Michael <laughs> Williams, and this time he was able to knock the ball away from Gibson there. You feel like another field goal attempt? Let's bring on Shelly out here. This one's from 44. Whoop, right through 15 nothing five field goals for Saban. They still can't find the end zone But they build on their lead 15 love and at, at this, this point. point the Jarrett Lee chance began here at the Superdome a lot of LSU fans thought you might see uh, Jarrett Lee come into the game for Jordan Jefferson Gentry again as we move to the fourth quarter making a big stop here JC Copeland is a load to bring down look at him hit him in the backfield yeah, But look at his quickness there Des, off the exactly. line of scrimmage I mean this this guy I don't know if he, he, he gets there or not But he's the first guy off he beats Will Blackwell right at the line of scrimmage stay low gap control penetration That's how you stop the run Matthew was a non-factor in the return game all night They kind of punted away from him lets it bounce and then just kind of a desperation attempt to make a play here this Guy trying to make a play, you know, they, like you say they were desperate for a play at that point he figured he'd pick it up and try to get past the first wave Kilpatrick was all over you, it. you see Drake or Patrick and that mm -hmm. Alabama defense they wanted a piece of honey badger tonight it's a pretty talented first round corner yeah cover and punch still Jefferson in there no lead this a finally cross midfield right there. Not, a, not only hit cross midfield it was the first time he was assertive first time he took the ball and just went and wasn't hesitant exactly but after a loss in the first down play, big hit by Sinceri. That might have been a touchdown. Uh, the freshman Landry had a step there. He actually looked like he was going to be able to score. And Jefferson would love to have that one back. But Sinceri got there just in time to be able to force the early throw. What do you got on fourth and 18 for me? <laughs> 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 How about yeah, exactly. How about, in there again? <laughs> How about Dante Hightower, the middle linebacker? You know what we like to do when we really have fun? We're going to line him up at defensive end and let him shoot the inside gap. Alex Hurst is expecting him to go wide because of the way he's aligned but instead he goes inside surprises Hurst knocks the ball away then look he keeps Jefferson away from the ball and lets Gentry jump on top of it yeah keep in mind before Dante uh, Hightower's knee injury a couple of years ago he used to do that all the time sure put his hand in the dirt and then make those tackles pay a price AJ telling Trim we're gonna get the end zone we're gonna get the end zone <laughs> finally Hater, the promised land is number three bounces it outside first touchdown Bama scored this year against LSU and this goes back to what Dez said earlier they, they started to kill the wheel that defense that defense could only make so many plays down in the red zone until finally it starts to work on them they put a man on a man up front and that's where the vision of Trent Richardson comes into play he finds it finally to the outside bounces it and there's the burst to be able to get it to the touchdown 
And now in the building where Roberto Duran turned his back on Sugar Ray Leonard and said, no, Moss, LSU really could do nothing but wave the white towel here. 21 nothing. the first shutout in the BCS era. Excellent execution on that Gatorade bath. Saban, the first to win three BCS titles. And Alabama's won two out of three. A defense that held opponents to 191 yards per game. Fewest in a quarter century holds LSU to less than half that tonight, 92 total yards. Well, we're going to remember this as a great defensive performance, but I, I, I really think that LSU's offense was inept. I, you know, their offensive line up front did not give Jordan Jefferson. It's so easy to point the finger at Jordan Jefferson and say, well, what was wrong with him? But that was a group effort from LSU's offense, and it, it had a lot to do with Bam and the pressure they put on him. And the loss for a team that had been so dominant 13-0 this season, the deflator at the end, it was also a team loss for LSU. Lots of people contributed.